Hello friends, if you have applied for immigration or citizenship to Canada and would like to know the status of your application, you would need to order GCMS notes. This video is all about it. In this video, I will be covering what is GCMS notes, why do you want to order it, who can order it, how long it will take, which documents do you need and last but not the least, how to apply for it. Before I start, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, consider doing it for more such videos. Hit the bell icon to get notified first. Having said that, I have a lot to cover today. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Akasa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. GCMS stands for Global Case Management System used by IRCC to process immigration and citizenship applications. This system contains all the application files, documents submitted by the applicant, officer reviewing it and all other relevant informations. GCMS note is issued under Access of Information Act. If you are an applicant who has been applied for immigration since so long and haven't got any update from the IRCC, then GCMS note is for you. By ordering GCMS note, you will come to know what's going on with your application right now. What is the status of your application? What IRCC is reviewing right now? And do you need to provide any additional documentation in order to keep your application moving further? Also, if you ever got rejected by the IRCC for any of your immigration or citizenship application, you also want to apply for the GCMS notes. That's the only way to understand what went wrong with your application in the past and what was the reason of the rejection. Since Access of Information Act gives an individual a right to access records comes under the federal government institutions, it is only limited to Canadian residents, permanent residents and Canadian citizens. Only they can apply for the GCMS notes. So question is how can someone who is not residing in the Canada can get GCMS notes? They can do it by choosing representative. Let me explain how that's work. If you are residing outside of Canada and want your GCMS notes, you need to ask someone who is living inside the Canada. They can apply on your behalf. You need to submit consent form IMM 5744 to give them an authority. With that consent form, individual from the Canada can apply for GCMS notes on your behalf. Be cautious, when you are giving that consent form, you are giving an authority to individual to access your personal records. So be more extra careful. To find consent form IMM 5744, please check the description. If you would like to know more about the representative, you can ask me in the comment section. Generally, IRCC takes 20 to 30 days to respond to Access of Information Act request. However, sometimes IRCC will take extended period of time to give you response when large number of records have been requested. In general, you can expect 20 to 40 days of timeline in order to receive your GCMS notes. In order to get GCMS notes, applicant would need application number along with their basic identification information. UCI number is also requested but that's not mandatory. For application number, you can find that in your CIC account. It is generated immediately after you submit your request to the IRCC. For example, permanent resident application number starts with E. Work permit application number starts with W. Study permit application number starts with S and visitor visa application number starts with V. On the other hand, UCI is unique client identifier and it only generates when IRCC start processing your request. UCI number will remain same across the all application for one applicant. If you want to apply for GCMS notes via Access of Information Act, you will have two options. You can submit your request online, else you need to submit all of your documentation by mail. To apply online, you will need to go ATIP online request portal, fill out requested details and submit a $5 application fee. That's it, your application has been completed. I will provide a link to access that portal in the description below. If you are not comfortable doing application online, you can always submit your request by mail. To do so, you need to fill out the form IMM 5563. Also, you need to submit a check of $5 payable to Receiver General for Canada. 
Finally, along with requested form, $5 check and all supporting document, you need to courier your complete package to the address that you are looking at on your screen right now. In my personal experience, out of both of the options, online application process is much easier and faster way to get GCMS notes. That's it friends. I hope the information that I have shared today will be helpful to someone. If you have any question regarding GCMS notes and its process, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you find my content informative, please hit the like button to support my YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video friends. Until the next time, goodbye.